famous parade studio. I got my mask on because we're doing a special party today to celebrate Cauldron issue four. This will be the fall 2020 edition. And we have my friend Sam Noir who's gonna do a quick uh, view of all the amazing art at this uh, special occasion. So let's check it out. I'm Sam Noir, and I'm giving my good friend, Becca Kin did I, Kinsey, did I pronounce that right? There you go. A quick tour of our gallery space with the Colton exhibit. So over here, we have Daniel Wong, who is in our current uh, issue, which is being kickstarted, and you can see the delicate, delicate line work. He's doing a samurai story, and actually, you can go on Kickstarter and get yourself drawn as a samurai. Now, over here, we have a page from the first issue by Robert Freeman. This was the kaiju story. I collaborated with him, and uh, this is the kaiju rising out of water to take his revenge in ancient Japan on uh, those who are wronged him. Andrew Dorland, the newest member of Raid, who has done us the pleasure of uh, doing our uh, pinup. Lovely, lovely pinup. He uh, is amazing. I'm doing a Kickstarter with Valley Skillin with him. We've talked yep. about this. AR, Augmented uh, Reality Comics. As a sketch on Sketchlemania 10 yeah. and 11. These four are the amazing work of Casey Parsons. The quadruple threat of Cauldron. He is wow. one of the publishers. Casey Parsons right over there. Yeah. <laughs> he is one of the editors. He is a writer. Sorry. And he's an artist. Come in front of your stuff over here, what Casey. Do you think, Becca? Hello, world. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Yeah. No. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. And another Casey. These, wow. uh, I believe, appeared in uh, our last issue, issue three. Now, a digital print by Bobby Gorefield, who okay. did uh, in our volume three, Yilva about a female barbarian going into the bowels of the underworld to find the lost soul of her wife. And uh, Bobby is just amazing. I don't know if you saw that one, Becca. Yeah, the Takowitz collection. Yes. He is doing a story in the latest uh, volume, which is being kickstarted, uh, about Satanella, one of our new uh, mascots on the book. That was the preview in the last culture. Yes, exactly, exactly. And so, uh, yeah, you'll actually get to see not only a story featuring her, but a wraparound telling her backstory, as well as her uh, uh, battle with the mm. dweller in the cellar. We have over here pages from volume two. <laughs> yeah, oh. now, this is the cover by Paul Lenaipo, uh, who lives in Thailand. And of course, we had to get this done so quickly that he didn't have time to ship it to us. So this is a, a canvas print right. of his original painting. And again, we have St. Nella prominently uh, on there, and uh, yeah, this is issue four, which will be kickstarted. Oh, 
Of These three pieces here are by Shane Duran. Yeah. A uh, member of the studio. He captured the energy of the comic so well. Yes. Uh, it was definitely one of my favorite stories from See. issue three. Definitely heavy metal esque. Definitely got that high. Cool. Recently, uh, Josie's for nominated Jonathan Kochuba. And if I mispronounce your name, I'm sorry, man. Um, <laughs> we all do. He's fucking Loverman. And if you don't have it, you should pick it up because it's it is so good. And especially love kaiju and punk and metal. I'm in. Comic, there's a song. Oh, is that so, right? I think he's working on He's a musician, right? Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he yeah. is. Very and cool. Becca's being yeah. modest because she too in the same uh, category. Uh, <laughs> is, uh, for a Joseph Swift So this is gonna be a really, really tough vote. There's a lot of good people on this. Sorry, can you say the name again? Sorry with the mask. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so my comic is called Gehenna Death Valley. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's, got a, it's got a creepy monster on it. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then bring an example of that story. It's <laughs> wonderful, and uh, yeah, this is going to be a tough one this year yeah. between the two of them. Wow. Both wonderfully talented in that sort of genre. Robert Freeman, another of our contributors. So far he's contributed to all three of the released issues and he is a workhorse. Uh, this was done for our previous gallery show. As you can see, watercolor in there. He is amazing, very delicate line work. And uh, you can even see a little bit of the sort of Asian uh, printmaking uh, influence in there. You can almost see that as a Japanese print. <laughs> That looks natural, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Comics! Over in the final corner, uh, last but not least, more Robert Freeman stuff uh, that appeared in our last galley show as well. But again, amazing stuff, delicate line work. Uh, wonderful creator. I can't say enough good things about collaborating with Robert Freeman. Over here, the amazing Christopher Yao created the design of Saint Nella. So yes. she is, as I have mentioned before, a public uh, domain character that I discovered out of a 17th century novel called The Devil in Love, La Diabla Amore. And uh, yeah, he created the look that all the other creators are doing their versions of. So great thanks to Christopher Yao. Played by Jay Clark. Very cool. And drawn by Jeffrey Miles. You Jeffrey can see his stuff. And he did an amazing job with Fred Kennedy on issue two. Returns to do amazing colors as well. And we're hoping to rotate him back in. Awesome, and thank you so much, uh, Sam and Becca, thank for you. this yeah, wonderful you. tour. You, Come friend. down and check it out, and definitely uh, check out Cauldron. Uh, is it Fall Edition 2020? Absolutely, uh, Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Yeah.